All right, guys, I've had a question about a particular uh, situation that arises with machines when you extend them, uh, whether it be the Acer, whether it be uh, Atom Stack, any of the machines that you may extend the work area from its factory settings, uh, the controller has to be adjusted once you make those changes. So if you're one of those folks that's having the problem of having to double home to get your machine to go all the way home, this is the fix for that. This is going to be a little short video. We're going to be demonstrating on the Acer V35, uh, just in between jobs here. And I, I've, I've had this same question three times today. So I felt like maybe I could put a video out there and be helpful for you guys and save me a little time from having to explain it to, to folks. So uh, we're going to move over into Lightburn and I'm going to demonstrate to you how to go about it. But keep in mind, guys, this is going to be on a V35 but light burn process is exactly the same no matter what the machine is. The only difference is your work area uh, size needs to be changed. All right, guys. So as you can see, I've got <laughs> I've got a uh, a job on the the work surface right now. Uh, I just let it complete because in order to show you this, I have to be able to access the controller. So just keep in mind to make these changes, you're gonna have to have your machine connected to Lightburn uh, and basically have it ready to go. Uh, you're gonna go into machine settings right here. And before you do anything, guys, before you do anything, please, please take and go down here to the bottom where it says controller settings, hit save. And what I do, guys, is I keep a file for every machine that I have. You can see there's my stock settings for the V35. What I prefer to do if you save multiple files is just put a date on there. And uh, that way you will know that on this date, the machine was running appropriately using these settings. And you can always roll them back if you need to and just save that. Now, I'm not gonna be changing anything in mind because it is already correct. When you click that arrow, you're gonna get this pop-up right here and you've got to hit yes in order to continue. Like I said, do not click anything in here that does not need to be clicked. The two settings that you're gonna be looking for are gonna be this one here, which is dollar sign 130. That's the X travel. The only time you would have to uh, change this one is if you make your machine wider. Uh, this one should be set to factory if you're doing an X-Tool V1, Acer P20, Acer V35, Atom Stack, Otour, any of those machines, for the most part, you're going to leave this one alone. Uh, like Niji, uh, SculptFun, a few of the other companies do offer kits that widen the machine. But for the most part, most of you guys are going to want to skip past this one and go down here to dollar sign 131. Dollar sign 131 is the Y travel distance. And basically, guys, that is the furthest distance that your controller will allow the machine to move without automatically stopping it. So if you leave this set to 430 on an Acer and you home the machine, it's only going to move to 430. The controller is going to say, hey, that's far enough. You're going to break something and it's going to make it stop. The only way to overcome that is to change this number here to match the actual length of your machine. In my case, it's 850. So that's the number that the majority of you are going to want to change. It's going to be dollar sign 131. And once you change that, guys, all you've got to do is go down here and hit the right button uh, to write those settings to the controller and then hit OK to get out of it. And you should be done. You should have already changed this here. This is the only other place that your work size is going to be uh, dictated. Uh, but hopefully this one, most of you probably found this setting. Uh, but the controller settings for the max travel is the reason that it only goes halfway and it does not home. As long as your workspace looks like this, you've got the correct work dimensions in Lightburn. You're just gonna have to go in and change the uh, max travel. All right, guys, I hope this uh, kind of fills in a blank. Uh, this is just one of those really common questions that I get asked a lot. We've had people in the lives asking us, uh, two or three people this week have messaged me having issues uh, because that setting is not something that everybody tells you about. They sell you the uh, extension kit, and there's not a lot of detailed information on going into light burn and changing those controller settings. But there it is, guys. I hope this helps you. Uh, if you find my videos helpful, entertaining, amusing, whatever the case may be, guys, be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button down below. 
and you get updates on any videos that I have. And for now, guys, I'm going to swap this material out right here and get back to work. So until next time, be safe and have a good day.